Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Topps Museum Collection Baseball six box half case pick your team six, second half of the case. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. We sold it out straight up on a Thursday. Your Thursday, my Friday. Thanks everyone here for getting in on it. There's Kenneth with double last bot mojo, Giant and Mariners. Thanks to Kenneth. Thanks everyone for finishing up straight up. Remember I marked those boxes number six so we know they're from the same case. There's Sci-Fi Channel's on commercial. Sci-Fi Channel uh, has a Harry Potter marathon going on, looks like. Half-Blood Prince is on. I'm, I'm intrigued. We've talked about this a little bit this week. I'm intrigued by the... Uh, there's going to be... I'm generally... I'm somewhat against remakes. But they are remaking Harry Potter, except the twist that I do like is that it's going to be not a movie, but a TV show, which I think with the length of the books, I think the TV show could be very interesting. It will be on HBO Max, or just Max, I guess. They are, uh, I think they've kind of locking down directors and writers and all that sort of stuff. I think they're going to try to make it like seven seasons to match the seven books. They are intending to have it be more book accurate. A lot of stuff in the books that aren't in the movies or glossed over in the movies or just cut out of the movies. Plus they could afford to be a little bit more darker in the movies. Yeah. Love the Harry Potter. And the Star Wars. A little bit of Lord of the Rings. Get into that. Nah, I figure we'll just do it next week. We'll just do the break credit next week. Everyone can wait, right? No one's in a rush. It's on the schedule, yeah, I'm gonna do it after this. Uh, Cole, Cole, Cal Ripken Jr. Kinda hard to see the dark blue. You gotta, can't do this, Tops. The dark blue foil on the black. Cal Ripken Jr. Here's Skeens for the Pirates, William. There's Jackson Churio for the Rue Crew. That's for Zach Wynn. It's Fred Lynn. Eight out of 99. I asked this question before. I'll ask it again. Candy Crush commercials? Who's playing Candy Crush these days? Here's Royce Lewis, 57.999. Uh, B Chords in the Twitch stream. You can see the text above my head right there. Is it just me, or is it odd to have George Brett on the cover of this box? It's for Nick and the Twins. And here is Luis Robert. Didn't end up getting traded. 14 out of 49. Yeah, why is George Brett on the box? Uh, Joe Christian in the White Sox. And Vlad Guerrero Jr. reveals a Jeremy Pena. 144 out of 299. Eric Clicks with the Astros. Oh yeah, Jonathan can't mention that earlier too, he says. Yeah, why is he on the box? It's his heritage year? What, is, what does that mean? Oh, like in heritage? Where they do the, vin the, the, the throwback cards? 
and it's his rookie year. I think that's what Grizzlebees is saying. Yes. That's actually a good. That's actually a good shout. But they don't do that all the time in the museum. Right? Or do they? And, oh, is he a new signer for Tops? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just like, it's his heritage year, new signer. Listen, Brett, we'll, we'll pop you on the box of... We'll pop you on the box of a uh, of museum collection too. Maybe we'll find a George Breton here. Guy on the box. Yeah, B chords in the Twitch stream said so that makes sense, Chris. Thanks. And he wasn't signing prior to the to that to this. All right. Uh, the pride of El Segundo, ladies and gentlemen. I've got George Brett's Wikipedia. Born in Glendale, not Glendale, Glen, Glendale, one word, California, but Glendale, two words, West Virginia. Brett was the youngest of four sons of a sports-minded family, which included, which included Ken. The second oldest, a major league pitcher who pitched in the 67 World Series at age 19. Brothers John, the eldest, and Bobby had brief careers in the minor leagues. Although his three older brothers were born in Brooklyn, George was born in the northern panhandle of West Virginia. Jack and Ethel, Brett, moved the family to the Midwest and three years later to El Segundo, California, a suburb of Los Angeles, just south of Los Angeles Airport. And I should, I should put in the Wikipedia, just north of Jaspies in Hermosa Beach, California. Should I put that in there? I think someone will take that out. It could last there for a little bit. Yeah, George grew up hoping to follow in the footsteps of his three older brothers, graduated from El Segundo High School in 1971, and was selected by the Kansas City Royals in the uh, second round of the 1971 baseball draft. I don't know if George Brett lives around here anymore, though. I don't think so. Personal life, blah, 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 Vice President Royals, this and that. I think they still live in, in Kansas City. So I don't think he came back. Oh, he, he and his brother, Bobby, also co-owned the Ranch Cucamonga Quakes, a Dodgers single A partner, which is about an hour and a half. Uh, about an hour and a half east of Jaspies. So. All right, we got a Mickey Mantle to 50. And there's Bo Jackson right there. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, listen, man. I've I've been pretty gassed today. I'll be honest with you. So I'm not focusing as as closely as I should be. Six out of thirty-five. And I worked six days in a row last week, just one weekend, and then came right back for another five days, so. But, you know, all card ships, so you would have, you would have, you would have gotten it. There is Mike Piazza, Pedro Martinez, Dodgers edition. <laughs> Two guys they traded away. They never should have. Uh, Matt Lieber and the Dodgers. He did not lose his wallet in uh, in El Segundo, Grizzlebees. 
That is not the case. That's where you learn how, in West Virginia is probably where you learn how to use pine tar. West Virginia. Adley Rushman, nice. Two out of 15. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong. Uh, there's Adley Rushman. You got the hologram sticker there, which is pretty cool. So Adam with the Orioles, if you look this up, you'll... Uh, MLB.com slash authentication, you'll get to see where that jersey came from, look up the game log, and then maybe see if he did anything special that day. It's always fun to see. And there's Tim Raines, 009 out of 199. Rock Raines? Is that what they used to call him? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Yeah, I was on the grind. Yeah, I was being a good teammate and covering for for someone here while they were out of town. Jonathan Ken say, stating that Brett's youngest son, Robin, is named after Robin Yell. <laughs> Brett, George Brett is credited with popularizing the phrase the Mendoza line, which is used to represent a sub-200 batting average and is regarded as unacceptable at the major league level. It derived from shortstop Mario Mendoza, a career 215 hitter who finished below 205 times in his nine seasons in the big leagues, including 198, the year the team term is claimed to have been coined by a pair. 198, the year the term is claimed to have been coined by a pair of his teammates in Tom Perio, Perio, Perry Pacioret and Bruce Bochte in 1979. Brett then referred to the Mendoza line in an interview, which was then picked up by ESPN baseball anchor Chris Berman, and now it's all over the world. There you go. Some knowledge about, about George Brett here. Oh, extra hit here. No, not spelled differently. B O C H T E. Botch T. Bot Bot Key. Ty Cobb to 199. Wyatt Langford to 99. Right, Bot Key. Bochtke, B-O-C-H-T-E. Mario Mendoza signed in 2019 Topps Archives. His autograph would be would be a Mendoza line, would not? Would it not? Got him. Got him. Here is Jimmy Rollins. 185 out of 199 for the fighting Phils, Sean Gola. Oh, this one had the extra. Relic, extra hit, Sammy Sosa. Meaningful material, 8 out of 35 for the Cubs. Eric clicks in the Cubs.
Here's Luis Arias, 67 out of 99. Marlins edition here. That'll be for Capola. And Frank Thomas, 1 out of 25. Joe Christian in the White Sox. She'll like it too, Joe. She'll like it too. Hey, you're welcome, Grizzlebees. Former fish. Yeah, Boy, not, not, nothing wrong with some former fish. There's Lourdes Gurriel Jr., 1 out of 50 for the Snakes. Eric Clicks, Diamondbacks. All right, halfway through this half case break, pick your team six. And George Brett has George Brett has a fun uh, a fun a fun Wikipedia page here. While George Brett was serving as a special hitting instructor for the Royals during 2005 spring training, he was filmed telling a story to minor leaguer. Adam Donishy about unintentionally defecating in his pants after a night out in Las Vegas. A, re a, record a recording of the video was uploaded to YouTube on September 18th, 2008. The video is a source of internet fame and regularly resurfaces. The event was discussed briefly on the show, pardon my take. I mean, yeah. I, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever defecated my pants whilst partying in Vegas. But, uh, but, you know, I feel like, I feel like we've been there before. It says after a night out in Vegas. Not during a night out in Vegas. It could happen. I mean, if you're intoxicated and, you know, maybe, maybe you were heading to the, to the head. You just, you know, miss sometimes. Might be seeing, might be seeing three toilet bowls. Gotta try to find, try to aim at the right one. So that can happen. I'm sure other things can happen. I was Arania to 150. More Wyatt Langford and Alex Bregman to 150. Mendoza is inducted into the Mexican Professional Hall of Fame in 2000. Hits. Nathan Ivaldi, 21 out of 99. Texas Rangers, that's for Nick Stanley and the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, I guess Trevor, Trevor Bauer, numbers like that. Five out of ten, Riley Green, primary pieces. That is for Jessen and Detroit. And we've got Tim Hudson, 48 out of 299, dual relic and autograph. It's for Rob and the Braves. And behind Ozzie Smith is 
Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, 7 out of 35. And Matt Lieber has the Angels and the Dodgers. No randomizer. I was going to say randomizer, but the ruling on the field has been overturned. No randomizer. Some good looking patches there. Both guys on the IL not playing right now. Maybe Tops knew something. I, I would assume so, Jonathan. Yeah, I would assume that Mendoza was 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 uh, great defensively if they he had allowed him to to hit below his around his own line or below it at times. All right, two boxes to go. It belongs in a museum. Museum collection. Belongs in a museum. So do you, Dr. Jones. So do you. <laughs> we named the dog Indiana. I had a lot of fond memories of that dog. Jackson Holiday, rookie card, Churio. Nolan Ryan at 199. Are we in a golden age of Jacksons? Jackson Churio, Jackson Holiday, Jackson Merrill. Might be in a golden age of first name Jacksons. Here is five out of 20, Cal Raleigh. Big dumper. As they call him. Mariano shows a Tom Glavin. Five out of ten Mets edition. It's from Matt Lieber. That's pretty cool. More Tom Glavin, Braves edition this time. Fourteen out of ninety-nine. Rob with the lumber. Chicks dig the long ball. It was Glavin in that commercial. It was, was it Glavin and Maddox in that commercial? Glavin and Smoltzy in that commercial? Shane Bieber, 39 out of 299. Cleveland, this is for you. Kevin. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, final box. I think they, they, they got this part all wrong in the book, or in the movie. It's not the same as the book. I was, I was annoyed when I saw the movie. I think I, uh, I, think I, uh, I, think I, uh, I think 
think I might have went on a Harry Potter Reddit page and maybe spilled some pixels on that. Spilled some characters on it. A photo, this is the last little bit about George Brett, who's on the box of museum collection. A photo in the July 1976 edition of National Geographic showing George Brett signing baseballs for fans with his team's name emblazoned across the shirt was the inspiration for New Zealand singer-songwriter Lord's 2013 song Royals. So there you go. Random. The Lord's reading came across an old National Geographic magazine. And we'll never be royals. royals. It does sound me. I, 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 it's, I mean, Wikipedia has an annotation to it. The links, I'm going to change screens super quick. Links to that Deadspin article. Mendoza's nowhere in those lyrics. Lord herself recently spoke to us about how the song Us, Deadspin, uh, of how the house on song was inspired in part with her obsession with historic monarchs. And strangely enough, by an image of baseball player wearing a Kansas City Royals jersey in National Geographic. In that interview, Laura explained how she, quote, had this image from National Geographic of this dude just signing baseballs. He was a baseball player, and his shirt said Royals. It was just that word. It's really cool. National Geographic later confirmed that the picture, quote, appears to be the only photo in our archives of a Royals baseball player signing autographs. So there you go. George Brett on the box, inspiring the youth to write songs. I got a question for you guys and gals. You think, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. She's in New Zealand as like a, she's kind of, I think she was pretty young when that song came out, maybe 19, 20 years old, 21 years old, maybe if that, so what's she doing running across National Geographic magazines and then going, you know what? That's going to be a, that's going to be a title of my new song. Primary piece is 2 out of 20. Houston Astros. That's uh, Bregman and Kyle Tucker. No, not even close. She was, she was not even close. I don't mind the song. She's 27. She, she was born in 96. And she's in New Zealand. Where there is like zero baseball. Matt Lieber with the Mets. So I guess to her it must have been weird. Like, look, uh, did she even know what a baseball was Sometimes when she saw that photo? Probably. I knows what a baseball is. We got Clayton Kershaw, 46 out of 49. Now, my question is, do you think George Brett has ever listened to the song Royals? Like, all the way through. Dodgers relic going to Matt Lieber. <laughs> Sonny Gray, 178 out of 299. Uh, Nicholas Singh. That would be like Lady Gaga pulling a Tim Salmon reference. 
I would love for Lady Ga Lady Gaga, if you're listening, please write a song about Tim Salmon. Or write a song that's titled Salmon and you're just inspired by it. Just, I mean, it doesn't have to have anything to do with Tim Salmon, I guess, but... I want Lady Gaga to be like, yeah, I was uh, watching Jaspies. <laughs> There's David Wright, 19 out of 25 to close things out. You know, I mean, yeah, she could be talking, yeah, it's something about, yeah, going upstream that's inspirational, keep swimming, that kind of thing. Sounds like a good Gaga song. At the stadium, maybe, Grizzlebees, yeah, if he's at the ballpark. But they don't play that song all the way through there, do they? Maybe they do. I mean, you think he's ever, like, fired up the Spotify, you know, and be like, you know what, I'm going to listen to that Lord song, Royals. Maybe his kids. All right, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. That was Museum Collection Baseball. Pick your team six. Off the rails, ladies and gentlemen. We're off the rails. I'll see you next time for the next one.